In this video, we're going to talk about suctioning a tracheostomy. Now, you may need to do this before you do trach care or just because the patient requires suctioning. Just make sure that you assess the patient before you start so that you know what their lung sounds are and what their oxygen saturation is before and after suctioning. So first thing you want to do is make sure your suction setup is working. You should have tubing attached to a canister attached to a regulator. For this, you want to set it on continuous medium suction. You also want to make sure that you can reach the end of the tubing. Sometimes I just lay it over the head of the bed or on the patient's chest. You can also loosen any uh, oxygen device that they have at this point. So the first thing you want to do is open your sterile water container and just set the bottle on the table between you and the suction kit. Now you can open your suction kit and put on your sterile gloves from in that kit. Now honestly, sometimes they're all bunched up and sometimes they have their own package. So depending on your kit, just be really careful to make sure that you keep them sterile. Now in this little kit, what you should have is the sterile gloves, the suction tubing, the suction catheter itself, and a little cardboard water container. So once you get your gloves on, you want to open that little cardboard water container inside that sterile package and set it up on your sterile field. Now, sometimes, especially if I get another package of gloves, I'll actually use my sterile gloves package as my uh, sterile field here. So open your little cardboard water container. And the next thing you want to do is grab the suction catheter in your dominant hand Put the tip downwards and wrap it backwards around your hand. That way you can grab onto the plastic end of the suction canister. Now with your non-dominant hand, you can grab the sterile water, pour some sterile water into the container. Remember that hand is no longer sterile. Grab the suction tubing and connect it to the plastic part of the suction catheter, being careful that only your sterile hand touches the catheter. Now at this point, you are ready to suction. So use your non-dominant hand to move any oxygen mask if you have it. And with the same hand, you're gonna use to uh, control the suction port with your thumb. So you're going to slowly insert the catheter into the tracheostomy until the patient coughs or you meet resistance. And then you're going to apply, apply intermittent suction while you twist the catheter on its way out. Once you're out, hold that catheter away from the patient to keep it sterile, uh, replace their oxygen source with your non-dominant hand if you need to, and decide whether or not you think they need another pass. Now, if the secretions were super thick, you can actually suction some of that sterile water through the catheter to clean it out. Now, you can do up to three cat passes with one catheter, but no more than 10 seconds per pass. So again, insert the catheter and remove while applying intermittent suction and twisting the catheter. This just helps that we get all the secretions off of the edge. When you're done, you can wrap it up in your hand. Again, make sure that you see the patient's oxygen saturation is improved. And then you always want to listen to their lungs again to make sure that you've actually made a difference and gotten the secretions out that you wanted. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. The more that you practice these skills, the better you'll get at them. All right, go out and be your best selves today, guys. And as always, happy nursing. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you wanna just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.